You know, in our TV lingo, we call those highlight tapes sizzles. And it's so appropriate in this case because the man that we just featured there just finished up a smoking hot two days. Damian Warner with me in studio, the Pan Am gold medal winner in decathlon. Congratulations. Thank you very it's much. really a privilege to meet you in person. <clears throat> what, what great moments you have given us over the past couple of days. Yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. Um, I made my decision. <laughs> That's an interesting way to describe it. <laughs> <laughs> it is an interesting way to describe it. It's yeah. a lot of fun, but very tiring at the same time. I bet. How are you feeling um, today? I'm a little sore today. I bet. Um, but it was all in great fun, and I had a great time competing with the family and friends, and the crowd was just amazing. And uh, it's, a, it's an experience that I'll never forget. Well, I was going to say, today, too, will be a special day for you, because everyone knows you've now won the gold <laughs> medal, and then you're going to be stopped, and I bet you'll be doing a lot of autographs. You enjoy yeah. that every moment. You're wondering probably where Damien's medal is. You don't have it yet. It's coming coming um, later this no, morning? No, I have my medal ceremony today at 11 o'clock, so okay. I'm still waiting to get the gold medal. and. I imagine once I get up there and hear the Canadian National Anthem and have the red medal around my neck, it's going to be an awesome experience. I bet it will. You don't have the medal yet, but what you do have is the record. Yes. There you were last night, shattering, as we've been saying all morning, one of the longest standing records <clears throat> in athletics. That was the 19-year record held by Michael Smith. How satisfying is it to have the record now? Um, it's, it's very satisfying just because for the last couple of years, I kind of felt like I had the potential to get the Canadian record and my training certainly suggested it, but it never quite came together. And that's when I realized that there's a reason why Michael Smith's record stood for 19 years and because it's not an easy thing to do. And no. you could have all the pieces, but it's tough to put them all together during a decathlon. And um, I'm just thankful that I was able to do it here on home soil and there's no better place for it to happen. Terrific. Michael Smith, you haven't had a chance to speak to him personally yet, have you? Uh, no, I haven't had a chance to speak no. with him since the decathlon since. started, but I've spoke to him in the past and he's just an amazing guy, an amazing competitor and someone that I look up well, to. Well, he's a big admirer of yours. He's part of the CBC <coughs> sports team, of course, and he was doing commentary. I yeah. don't know if you know that yeah. as his own record was broken by you. Can you hear this? We'll put the sound up on the studio because this is how he summed up the end of your competition when you broke his record. Here's Michael Smith. This is just the beginning for Damian Warder. 86.59 is truly world class, but Damian Warner is capable of much more than that. And what a way to do it on Canadian soil. Fantastic result by this tremendous decathlete. Very complimentary. <laughs> I would, nice to hear that, I bet. Yeah, it's extremely nice to hear, especially coming from Michael Smith, who's yeah. someone who's an amazing athlete in Canadian history and someone that I, I am very grateful to just be mentioned in the same, same name as him because in the decathlon world, he is, he's, he's right up there with the top guys. And um, I, I'm just glad that I was able to get his record and wow. hopefully uh, I can try to hold, hang on to it for a little for, while. Listen, 19 more years for you. I don't know, I had 10 events to choose from, and you did so well, of course, in all of them. Five first, four personal best. Yep. But we're going to put up the 1500, because we met your coaches, your long-standing mentors and coaches from London yesterday, Gar and Dennis, your former teachers at Montcalm. And they told us that, I said, which one does he hate the most? And they yeah. said, the 1500, you'd rather poke his eye out <laughs> than run that 1500. So here we pick it up in the 1500. What I want to show, ask you about is here, you, you're running away with it at this point. Yeah. You've told us already, you keep track of what mm -hmm. time you had to do to break the record, yeah. right? So you know? So going into the 1500, I knew I had to run faster than 429.56. So that was in the back of my mind the whole okay. race. And whenever I got the chance to look at the, the little monitors there to see what my time was and all the pacings and stuff, I kind of just took a little peek to going. make sure that I was on track. And then all the other times, I was just trying to listen to the crowd's energy and try to just feed off that. But Traditionally, I don't point, lead in oh, the decathlon. Oh, I usually, okay. um, there's usually faster guys, and I had to try to take it out myself, and I was a little scared that I was going to go too fast, but I'm just glad I was able to hang on. Well, and I just thought it was amazing, because you knew you had the record, because you'd been keeping track yeah. of the time. You've leaving everybody in your dust. You know you're going to, apart from that, what were the thoughts as you're coming close to that tape? Well, when I got to the 1200 meter mark on the far side, I knew I had to come through there around 335. And when I saw that I was around 335 and the crowd was just going crazy, I, I, had, a, I had a feeling in the back of my head that it was going to happen. And 
I'm just glad when I finished across that line and the time was there, How I was just very happy. And then you did the most amazing thing. Yes, you got all <laughs> uh, cooled down. Then you put on the Canadian flag and you did a victory lap for the ages. I think there wasn't anybody in that stadium who didn't get a chance to shake your hand last night. Tell me about why you did that, why you wanted to meet so many people and why you spent so much time uh, showing your appreciation really to them. Well, I, I think the big reason I did that and it, it's a large reason why I did the decathlon here in, in Toronto. Most of our competitions are overseas, and the people that support me don't really get the chance to, to watch me compete. So I really wanted to compete here in Toronto, so they got the chance to see me compete. And um, I fed off their energy over the last two days, and um, just I, I felt like it was my duty to go around and just thank as many people as I can for the support that they gave me because it certainly pushed me to higher limits. Lisa, this is your team. Team Warner there. We yeah. met some of them yesterday, but of course it was the other fans in the stands you had. It was really lovely to see. You say, you know, you wanted to compete in Toronto. There was a risk to your competing here because you have the Worlds coming up in a month in Beijing. Yeah. Ashton Eaton, whom you know well, a big competitor for you now, uh, he chose not to do yeah. all of the decathlon here in case of injury or not enough time to recover before Beijing. You didn't make that choice. It was the home factor, or what was the decision for um, that? The, the home factor was certainly yeah. a, a part of it, and um, I just I just wanted to compete here in Canada. I, don't, I probably won't get that same opportunity again in my career, so I had to take advantage of it. But I have five weeks to prepare for World Championships, and uh, I, I certainly think it's enough time. And if not, then I I, I kind of learned my lesson, but I certainly won't regret anything that I've done because my experience here in Toronto was amazing. It certainly was. Can I ask about one more thing before I let you go, though? Yep. Who's the cardboard Damien? Oh, We're going to show that up. Yeah, We're going to show so. that here. We saw it in the distillery district. There it is there, the cardboard Damien, right there with you on the track. Yeah. <laughs> um, so my girlfriend, Jen, she painted that one night before the race. I think after the first day, she, she went out and painted it. And <laughs> I got to meet them after the first day. And I turned the corner, and I saw a big, big cardboard face of mine around the corner. And it was, it, it was pretty cool. Um, <laughs> it was awesome. And I think it was, it was a crowd favorite. They, they really liked it. And, uh, yeah, it was just awesome. You pack that and you take that to Beijing. It's been a good luck charm for you yes, here. You. And may it be at the Worlds and Rio to come. It's a pleasure to introduce people to our viewers. And we'll continue to follow you, of course, uh, as the road uh, leads on for you. Many great things in store. But what a terrific competition for you. And what a pleasure to meet you. Thank yes, you, Thank Dan. you very much. Thanks thank for having so me. Thank you so much.